She's left her house. Okay, let me know when she's pulling in. She's about to pull in. Is she camera ready? Is she camera ready? If she's gonna be in hair and makeup for three hours, I can't do it. I'm not gonna be here. I gotta do American Idol. It's live. I gotta do it. I gotta be there. What are we gonna interview her about? Nothing personal. No personal questions. No personal questions. Don't ask her about her sister and her nose job. No plastic surgery questions. No, plastic no personal surgery. questions. She we'll doesn't want to about... talk about her boobs or her father's comments about her boobs. Great. We'll talk about the Middle East and maybe an idea of an exit strategy. Maybe she has a good pitch. <laughs> Should I ask her about Korea? Maybe have her pointed out to us on a globe? I don't understand the young talent in this town. It doesn't make any sense. I got four jobs. Hell, I'm more famous than half the people we talk to anyway. No one stands up. No one has the balls to sit them down and say, look, just cut the shit. But everybody works for them. They're all on the payroll. They're all sucking the teat. Nobody sits them down eye to eye, one on one, and says, cut the shit. And all these stars just fuck it up. That's what they do. They fuck my day up. And it pisses me off, and now I'm sweating. OK. You want to, you know what? You want us to just come and get you when she gets here? You want to head to the green room for a minute? Just chill out? Yeah. OK. That's a good you want idea. us to bring you anything? You want some no. water? You want a cookie? Cookie, yeah, cookie, thanks. Okay, we'll get you a cookie. Sorry, I'm sorry I'm pissed. What do we got, chocolate chip? Allison? Yeah. Jack and I need to see you in his office. Okay. Thanks for coming in, Allison. Well, we wanted to talk to you today because we had a little debate on the conference call with New York about you. Uh, you, about me? You were talking about me. Uh, we were wondering aloud to one another whether or not you would be good for on camera. What'd you decide? Um, they, they decided that they like you and they would like to put you on camera. Really? <laughs> I know, I was so surprised too. Oh my God, this is the best news ever. Thank you so much. This is great. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll take that smile as a yes, I'll do it. Absolutely, I'm <laughs> so excited. Oh it's my God. It's a lot God. of work. Can't wait to see what happens. <laughs> it's gonna be tough, tough job. About the work, most immediately, there's going to be some things that you're going to be able to get that okay. other people in the office don't get. One of them, gym membership. Hey, you want me to lose weight? <laughs> no, I don't want you to lose weight. No, uh, we can't legally ask you to do that. We didn't say lose no. weight. I might say tighten. Tight. A little tighter. Just like toned and smaller. Don't make everything smaller. I don't want to generalize that way. Tighter. We don't want you to lose weight. We just want you to be healthy. Okay. You know, by, by eating less. We would just like it if you go home and step on a scale and write down how much you weigh and subtract it by like 20. 20. And then weigh that much. Just remember, you've got it here. You've got it here. And everybody's going to see you right there. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, maybe you can get your own place now. <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah! Let's go celebrate. OK, let's do it. Peter, watch the kids? Yeah. We can watch Taxi Cab Confessions. What are you going to do? I don't know. Ah! <laughs> I walked in on him masturbating one night. <laughs> Did he get the deer in the headlights look? <laughs> Did he freeze? Or Did he finish? No, he tried to pretend like he wasn't doing anything under the camera. <laughs> I buy these nice towels and he whacks off into them. Deb and Pete. And forever. And once he does that into them once, they're never soft ever again. <laughs> I can always tell if I'm looking good based on whether or not we get in. Please? Guess we're looking good. <laughs> I didn't get in, I would have lost my shit. What the fuck? You like to tell your old man would have fainted on me. Maybe because the jeans look like they were fainted on me. You know a movie I just saw again the other day, which is fucking like mind blowing, and I haven't seen it since it came out. It's Munich. Oh, Munich! Munich fucking rules. Munich is awesome. That movie was Eric Bana kicking fucking ass. Through every movie with Jews, we're the ones getting killed. Munich flips it on its ear. Do we're captain mother. Not only killing, but fucking like taking names. If any of us get laid tonight, it's because of Eric Bana. I agree. With that. I agree. You know what is not helping us get laid is the shoe bomber Richard Reed over here at our table. <laughs>